It's not their way to criticize and chide. They think censoriousness a mark of pride. And therefore, letting others preach and rave, they show by deeds how Christians should behave. They think no evil of their fellow man, but judge of him as kindly as they can. They don't intrigue and wangle and inspire. They lead a good life with their one desire. The sinner wakes no rancorous hate. It is the sin alone which they condemn. Nor do they try to show a fiercer zeal for heaven's cause than heaven itself could feel. These men I honor. These men I advocate as models for us all to emulate. Your man is not their source of all I fear. And while your praise of him is quite sincere, I think that you've been dreadfully deluded. <laughs> <laughs> now then, dear brother, is your speech concluded? <laughs> Why, yes. Your servant, sir. <laughs> No, brother, wait, there's one more matter. You agreed of late that young Valer might have your daughter's hand. I did. And set the date. What, sir? You've now postponed it. Is that true? No doubt. The match no longer pleases you. Who knows? You need to go back on your way. I won't say that. Has anything occurred which might entitle you to break your pledge? Perhaps. Why must you hem and haw and hedge? The boy asked me to sound you in this affair. It's been a pleasure. But what shall I tell Valer? Whatever you like. But what have you decided? What are your plans? I plan, sir, to be guided by heaven's will. Come, brother, don't talk rot. You've given for there no word. Will you keep it or not? 